Apple Knocker Radio. Okay, greetings friends. This review is going to be a little bit different than my normal reviews because I do not yet have a hard copy version of this book because the hard copy version of this book has not yet been published. I was given an electronic review copy by Inner Traditions. Let that also serve as a disclaimer before I get into the review that I was given a free advanced review copy of this book by the publisher, but that does not uh, tarnish or influence my reviews in any way. The hard copy will be published on September 27th of 2022. Uh, I intend to buy a hard copy version, despite the fact that I've already read the electronic version. And the reason why I intend to buy a copy of the book is because the, the book itself is beautiful. And that is one of the primary points of discussion for this review and about the book. Marlene Seven Bremner is a painter. Specifically, she paints alchemically and hermetically inspired paintings. The works shown in this book alone make it worth the price of uh, sale, as far as I am concerned. Uh, Bremner makes truly beautiful, fascinating um, works of art that I am personally a huge fan of. I have spent a lot of time looking, just gazing into her works of art and all the little intricate little visual details that she puts within them. It's, it's really astounding stuff. Um, but the book is more than that. The book is not just a, a picture book. It's not just an aesthetically pleasing work. So hermetic, the hermetic philosophy and creative alchemy is also a serious and scholarly overview of hermeticism and of alchemy. And that is why I believe that this book potentially has tremendous crossover appeal. Because I believe that it will appeal to art enthusiasts and artists, as well as people who are into the uh, into explorations of esoteric ideas, including alchemy and hermeticism, but also just esoteric occult ideas in general. And so I think it will have appeal to both classes of those people. For art enthusiasts and artists who are not yet familiar with these ideas, I think the scholarly overview aspect will give them something uh, these ideas tend to in my experience they tend to appeal to highly creative people um, i think there's obvious reasons for that but i won't go into them here and so for those creative people who haven't yet had an, a chance to be introduced to these ideas i think they'll they'll find that very worthwhile on the on, on the at the same token the people who are primarily interested in hermeticism and alchemy i think they can learn and benefit from a different perspective on how these broader ideas apply specifically to creativity and um, to painting, um, but also to creativity in general. A big part of the book is how people can use these ideas for their own creative lives and creative process. And so in that way, I think that this book has great crossover appeal. And um, I think, yeah, like, I think it will appeal to a lot of those people. And then for those those of us who happen to, to be at that intersection already, already interested in these uh, two schools of thinking, or these two, not two schools of thinking, these um, uh, just two, two perspectives. For those of us who already live at that intersection, well, the book's appeal is obvious. And so I believe the book is more than worthwhile. It was, uh, it was a great, I, I really enjoyed the scholarly overview. Um, because while I already study such topics myself, obviously you can't contain all of the knowledge inside your noggin. And so I learned a lot from the book. Um, the creative aspects were interesting because I'm also a creative person. And for any of you out there who are interested in these topics, I would absolutely recommend the book. And I am very much looking forward to the hard copy being published because the aesthetic qualities... I always admire Inner Traditions books. I think they make beautiful books. But this book, even more than usual, I think will benefit tremendously. Um, well, not benefit tremendously. I think will be fantastic in hard copy, and I cannot wait to see it. I am expecting a work of art unto itself. And so that's about it, my friends. I would definitely check this book out, and I wish you all well. I hope you are staying driven 
on your own goals, whether they be creative or physical or relationship or financial, whatever they be. I hope that you have stayed on your path to your success, however you define that. Even in these crazy times and stressful times, stay fixed on your purpose. All right, peace out, my friends.